Okay, welcome back to Boots Gaming Tips today. Today we're here to talk about the Bluetooth USB. It's a BT400 by ASUS, and it is a 4.0, and it is fully compatible with Windows 10, and also it's backwards compatible, so 3, 2.1, 2, all the way back on Bluetooth. It works for anything from Windows XP all the way to 10, is what's recommended, so it should work with mine. And then here it is, it's just a little Bluetooth dongle. Oh, it's just that. You can see what's inside here. Of course, there's what it was in. There's a stop, please. The, uh, don't return to store. There's the setup guide. And there's the install disk. So, uh, we'll show you how to set it up in just a second. Okay, so we're back now, and I just put the disk in, so... I'm going to run the autoplay and show you. So when it first comes up, it'll come up over here in the corner. So you click run, auto run. And then you got to wait all day because it takes a while for it to come up. Nope, came up just fine that time. And, I said it. and then it'll say install BTW software. Say yes. And then it'll say preparing to install. Let's give that a minute. And I've already have it installed on my computer, so I'll just tell you what you have to do. So you, what you would do, you, uh, you, it'll be an option to install it. So you click yes, and then it takes about five minutes, and it'll completely install the Bluetooth, and then it'll say to insert it. It may ask you to restart the computer, but it didn't on mine. So I'm just going to show you that it does work. Let's go ahead and put it in. And I have a... PS4 controller right here. Now I can show y'all. So what you would do is just go down here where it would be and it'll be on the Bluetooth. You got to turn it on. And then yes. Okay, so up here it'll say add Bluetooth for other other device. So you click it. Then you want to, it'll come up Bluetooth, wireless display, anything else. So, for what we're trying to do right now, PlayStation 4 controller, so it'll be Bluetooth, mice, people, and all that. And then, and it's done, it's already connected. You see, now you can see it's connected, and I have Steam on, so it came up to my settings for it. I don't know if you can see the mouse or not, but it is moving. See, I'm press on that. So you see it goes away. And it all works, and that's pretty much all you have to do. I hope you like this episode of Boots Gaming Tips, and I hope you like this. And if you do, please like, or maybe even subscribe for next time. See you next time. Bye.